Hello good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today, well, my bank account hates me because I bought three bundles of the 20 pack of the Super Santa containers, or whatever they're called. The ones that are supposed to give you the best chance of getting uh, ships in them. And I took this big fat L for you guys, and I mean, I wanted to get Missouri, unfortunately Missouri was not given. However, I did get some really cool ships and a lot of doubloons. Um, just to give you guys an idea of how many ships I had. Uh, when I started I had 74, now I have 83, so I got 9 premium ships. And only 2 of them were tier 5, the rest were, were uh, tier 6 or above. So 9 premium ships for mm, a lot of money, <laughs> well over $200. Um, yeah, now this has, this, this um, little spinning spree that I've gone on has sort of paid for itself because I do now have more than enough the blooms to convert XP over for if uh, Alaska comes out uh, and it's a free XP ship or if um, I don't know they, they decide to re-release Missouri I'll be able to easily afford that and also I got th I think three bundles of 12,500 coal so I have 207,000 coal so if they release um, Alaska in the arsenal for a coal ship, I should have well over the uh, amount of coal needed to get her that way. Now, if it's a steel ship, I'm just kind of screwed because, unfortunately, steel was not one of the um, things that were in these containers. You still have to earn steel. So, that's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. So, uh, let me run through some of the ships that I have gotten through these containers, and I'm going to play a couple of them. Probably two, three, four of them. And if you guys want to see the rest of them, let me know. I'll make another video about it. And if you guys want to, want me to keep going from Missouri, you're gonna to have to donate to the to my PayPal because I ain't got enough money to um continue this, to to continue to buy bundles. So uh, Belfast was the one that stuck out that stuck out to me the most. Um, I got the Perth, which I've heard is really good. Uh, the Duca di Osta. Um, I don't know too much about this ship, but I got it and then I got I got a lot of Soviet ships like Jesus I got a lot of Soviet ships I had three before this it also got the uh, t61 and here we go this yeah I had three Soviet ships Soviet ships before this so starting at lower tier uh, the ad hoc Nick the freaking meme ship yep uh, this one's I've actually wanted this I just never got around to getting it but now I do so yeah the uh, Krasnyam Kram however you say that the tier 5 cruiser, yeah, tier 5 cruiser, uh, the Molotov, which I've heard is pretty good, uh, and then the Leningrad, which I've been annoyed by many times while playing in my battleship. Um, did I get any American ships? No, any Japanese ones? No, so yeah, that's, I think that's it. Uh, I might have missed one or two. But, yeah. So, got about, oh, more than about, I got nine ships uh, for well over $200, 20,000, well over 20,000 uh, doubloons, and I think north of 60,000 coal. So, I'm not too disappointed because I was really trying to get Missouri. That's why I bought three bundles of it because I figured, you know, for the price me to convert XP over to get Missouri to be about the same as 100 and something. But then I went one more because I got real lucky and got a. A bunch of ships in, in one dump but I'm calling it there I'm not gonna dump any more money in, into that unless you guys have a really kind heart and want to give me a Christmas present but uh, I'm not I'm not and don't get me wrong I'm not asking you to do that I'm, I'm just saying that all right so uh, I figured we'll start out in the Belfast since it's the one I'm most interested in and then I'll just pick something and keep going again I'll do, I'll do about four of them and you guys will see the rest let me know and I'll keep going with the rest I should mention too, with all these ships, you get a 10 point commander and a port stock. So it's it's a pretty good deal. It's like you're getting one of those, um, those like, um, deals that are like $20 more, uh, when they first come out because you get the commander, the 10 port commander. So it's actually not that bad of a deal. If you, you know, just buy one of these and you get three, four ships out of it, I'm pretty sure you get more than your money's worth back easily. And of course, since it's a tier 7 ship and my first time playing in it, we're getting up tiered. To, uh, tier 9. Um, this is a British cruiser <laughs> with HE. Hmm. And no torpedoes. Okay. I guess I'm gonna play it like Atlanta. It's got a 7.4 second detection, um, reload time on the guns. 
yeah, this is... Hmm. Never thought I'd have this ship. I gotta say, I do like the way this ship looks. It looks like a really modern uh, cruiser. Very nice design. So when I see British cruisers, they normally smoke up and uh, stay in their smoke and get their spam on. So let's get that going. Come on, smoke screen. There we go. Smoke screen. And that 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 reminds me of American shell arcs right there, boy. There we go. A minute and thirty seconds on the smoke. Put out that fire already? That's not smart. Oh man, they stopped just short of me. Oh, there we go, got that. Let's get radar going. What are you gonna do against Crunch Cat? Uh, I did kind of okay. Back in the smoke because Crunch Cat's looking at us. The radar was on for a while too. Dang. Detected. Hmm. Team kind of got manhandled there at uh at A. Thought that smoke was in between me and the crunch that thought there's probably another ship around. Mm -mm, okay. That hurt. Look at the Fiji. It's the me, but was it tier ounce? Oh, still shaving too. Smoke. Be gentle. What is that lion doing? Didn't mean to hit that. All 
I've set like three fires on this Nelson. Oh, he's mad at me now, ain't he? Give me a faster reload, why don't you? See, she's really stealthy. Somehow winning. Don't really know how. I'm almost dead. Nice. Whoa, Kiev turret. I need you to move. Take him out before these torpedoes get to me. Oh, dodge those torpedoes. Yes! Huh. Well, I think it what, sunk two ships? I think one was like, he had like two health left, but let's see. Yeah! I'm liking that. Huh. Okay. Go fast. Uh, I approve. Okay, the Perth is a tier six cruiser. I went with the same build they did with the Perth with uh, they did with the uh, Belfast. I did as I did with the Perth. Um, so uh, preventive maintenance, um, adrenaline rush, superintendent, and concealment. And then uh, for the modules, pretty much the same thing, except obviously not the um, concealment module because the Perth is a tier six ship instead of a tier seven ship. Uh, that's a lion. That's a Mahan. Smoke generator started. Requesting fire on the designated target. Roger. Leon, no. Please, Leon. Ooh. Oh my god. King George, why, 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 why you do this? Why you do this, King George? Oh, does she like continually put out the smoke screen? Oh. That's cool. That's really cool. Wow. It's like a moving smoke screen. Okay, that's okay. That's wow. I'll have fun with this ship. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah. No, Leon, stop it. Oh, 
Oh, don't do a not sir. Don't do a not sir. Okay. No. Another citadel. Is he not paying attention? Oh, that's too late for you, my dude. Oh, actually, no, turn into more, don't you? Know, don't you? Yes, 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 yes. And all his guns are facing the other way too. Brilliant. Are you kidding me? Yep, there I go. Okay, 80,000 damage in Perth. First game out. Perth, you get my approval too. Hydro has a 4 climber range. No torpedo. No, I do have torpedoes. What's the torpedo range? 4 kilometer torpedo range? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. He's just kind of chilling there, ain't he? Oh, hello boys. There we go. Oh, okay, I see now. Yes, I see now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. That's what this thing does. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to like this thing now. <laughs> Bye, Leander. Oh. Oh man, so close, so close, okay. So I kind of like that one too, I like how it's the AP is really really good. That was pretty dang enjoyable. So so far, yeah, um, it was a lot, cost me a lot of money, but I got some really nice ships out of it. And I am enjoying them so far, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> this happens when you blow $200 on World of Warships in one day. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I want to wait to 1500, 1,500 subscribers. And uh, last time I checked, we're at 1,070. Again, amazing, amazing that we're up that high already. So again, thanks for watching. I hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.